Well, good morning friends that is morning chores done and we have a big day final push in the garden to get um, all my peppers planted and the last of my cucumbers and squashes and maybe some pumpkins and then I'm gonna be done 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 for the first summer push and uh, so I gotta go up to the house back again and get the flats of trays but hopefully you guys enjoyed just seeing the animals this morning how they're doing we moved in the big mama chickens with the new uh, teenage chickens last night so that was our first night sleeping over seems like everything went well gardens going great got some roses blooming you guys haven't seen the oh these are so dark for some reason. I don't know why. Um, got the flower beds doing great. Roses are blooming. You can see all the pretty color down there. Hopefully you can see it. It's way early in the morning. Tide's not even up yet, but it's going to be really hot today. So I want to get as much as I can done before the heat of the day. So. I need to go put on some bug spray first. So I'll see you guys back out here in the garden after I have everything moved out here. guys all these mushrooms crazy okay I think that's a pretty good indication that we have life <laughs> that is some amazing amazing life growing all in here so everything's looking good that was transplanted pretty sure things even look bigger my little cucumbers down here doing good over here I have my flats of peppers and they are going all down this bed. So <clears throat> par for the course 
I have no clue which peppers are which peppers. Um, we have jalapenos, banana peppers, and bell peppers, like a California wonder. And they've been hardening off outside for over two weeks now, just randomly here and there, increasing time. You are gonna notice in a few of them, a little bit of sun scald on a couple of them. It's really hard to avoid that with peppers. They're just sissies when it comes to getting exposed for the first time outside. So this is my first time growing peppers from seed, just like tomatoes, and I can't believe I did it again. <laughs> so hopefully they don't go through too much stress getting transplanted out today. Um, it is gonna be quite overcast till later this afternoon, and then it'll be partially sunny. Um, so there's like no direct sun in the sky this morning. All right, I have been, um, you're gonna notice some of them have baby flowers on them. I have been plucking those off while they've been inside. And these were only ever up potted once. So hopefully they're not too, oh no, they're not bad at all. I was hoping that they, roots weren't too intertwined. Okay. Oh, I need my... To each one of them, I'm just adding some BioLive all-purpose fertilizer. I think I'm gonna do about a foot on diagonal. So yeah, so we've got a lot of peppers here. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Rachel and you're at that 1870s homestead. And um, if you haven't been following along and don't know, the methods that we choose to garden with. It's either raised bed gardening, root stout gardening, or what I'm planting these peppers in this year is, um, oh, so many worms. Um, one of my no dig earth beds. And as you can see, there's lots of happy life in there. Um, and this has only ever been, it started with cardboard and straw, like a root stout bed. And then over the years, I've just added compost and barn clean out every year to it. In the fall, a deep layer of grass clippings and leaf mulch, and that breaks down over the years. I've never grown peppers yet in an er um, one of my earth beds. I always grow them in my raised beds, so I'll be interested to see how they perform this year. Um, I have no reason to believe that they won't do well. Oops. I forgot to give you some fertilizer. Almost done. Um, I have four more three cell packs, so I'll probably fit one more here and then I'll go back through and fill in between the marigolds. Um, but I was doing something along the way that I thought I would share with you and it's with respect to topping peppers. Um, so if you guys followed me in the house when I was starting seeds, I was showing you how I topped the peppers um, to get a bushier plant and you get a higher yield of peppers that way. Some people have had great success with it. I know I have others, you know, kind of didn't either notice a difference or 
had less of a yield. So I think it depends a little bit on the region and the type of pepper you're growing. Um, but here is kind of where one of the major offshoots came when I did that original topping. And here you can see another one growing out. So I'm gonna snip that baby leaf off. There's another one here trying to grow out. So I'm gonna snip that lower leaf off and I'm gonna keep doing that around. Um, anywhere that I see what you would consider like a tomato sucker on tomato plants. Um, I'm going to just take off the under leaves so all the nourishment goes to these little offshoots that are coming off. So what I look for when I am going to pe plant pepper stems, hopefully you guys can see this. Let me get some of that soil all the way. See those little white nubs? Those will root. So I'm gonna go up to at least here when I plant them because all those little white nubs will turn into roots. So anything above that, probably not. Probably above that first leaf growth, but all of those will root out. Hopefully that showed up on camera well enough for you guys. And I keep misplacing my shovel. Honestly. So this one I've already taken all the under leaves off where the shoots were coming out. Um, so all of these will make a much bushier leaf plant. So I'll try to keep that out of the way. So there's those little white nubs. Oh my goodness. Is that not the fattest? Earthworm. Wow, dang. Go back in, buddy. I'm stealing some of my barn clean out mulch because I really put a lot on this bed. So I can put it on my straw bale garden behind me that didn't have it. I'm probably going to ruin my experiment doing that, but it's just such good stuff. I don't want to waste it. It's not wasted, but you know, I'd like to put it to use, I guess is not what I mean. All right, well, that was something like 32 pepper plants. I know that's the most I've ever grown, but we fell in love with all the different ways of preserving peppers last year um, and definitely want to do it again and bigger. So I want to make all kinds of preserved peppers, more pickled peppers, like uh, pickled banana peppers. I fell in love with those and I went through them super fast because I didn't have enough. So um, I have my tray here. Uh, this is the final um, straw bell gardening uh, planting out. So these beds were um, standardly uh, conditioned doing the high nitrogen fertilizer every other day for basically 10 days on and off and watering thoroughly every day. Last night um, was day 11. Um, so charging kind of ends on day 10. Day 11, I came out here and I sprinkled on probably half a five gallon bucket of compost and just watered that in really well. Um, and now we're gonna plant in them. And I am gonna mulch them with some of my barn clean out just to kind of help reduce some of uh, the amount of evaporation that you can have um, during uh, or while straw bale gardening. So um, let's get to planting and see what we're planting in there. Okay, with respect to planting, like technique or whatever, I'm not going to do it any differently than I did the front straw bells. I'm just going to chop a hole and plant. Um, so these are uh, yellow straight neck zucchini, so or squash, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to chop a hole and put these in. 
and they will run out over this end. I'm not going to be uh, backfilling with compost like I did the last one. I want to just plant these straight in the straw bale and see how they go. Pinch off the bottom leaves the same way I did before. See there's lots of the starts of flower buds on here. And my product that I was waiting on to, I'm just gonna push that straw around. The product that I was waiting on to um, protect my vines from squash borer beetles did come yesterday, but I do wanna do a separate video on that. So come back for that to see. All right, grow well, friend. Oh, I forgot your fertilizer. This is, again, just that bio live from down to earth, just an all purpose. Once I water that in, it'll go in well. Now over my trellis, I have sugar pie pumpkins and Cinderella pumpkins. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna do the Cinderella's over and do the sugar pies over this way. That's what I'll do. Cause Cinderella's will definitely be much heavier and could use the extra support. So just like last time, these have two in each cell. So I'm just gonna snip one off if I can. Break off the baby leaves. Alrighty, and then we'll plant our sugar pie pumpkins and move on to our cucumbers. Mm. Kept some of that extra barn clean out, so I'm going to mulch around all of my plants up here. I'll go get more when I'm done, but let's head down here and plant our cucumber. So these are stonewall cucumbers. Unfortunately, I only had one come up or survive at least in this batch. So I'm gonna do just like I did the last ones, put it down here where it's nice and moist. And I'm actually gonna go harvest some compost for him. So I'll be right back. Not really compost, I just went and got some out of my beds where I just planted the peppers. So, put some soil down there for them. Whoa, heavy. Alrighty. Go do the other cucumbers and then we'll mulch and we'll basically be done. I did bring out some something else to plant in the section of my last straw bells that was a little bit vacant. And then we'll wrap it up for the day. out of my garden you all right 
Well, that feels good. All right, so you guys are back at the straw bales that I planted the first time. Um, and remember I had these two big open spaces because those super moon pumpkins are gonna go that way. And these are, it's a set of five peppers, way too close together, but they look almost even better than the peppers that were growing individually. So we're just gonna plant them as a bunch, as a fun experiment to say, do they do okay? Um, what happens? Maybe some will die off, maybe some will be epic. So I'm just cleaning these up like I would if I was planting them in the garden, down to their little suckers. And we're gonna just plop them in here together and see if we just don't get a wonderful surprise. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna go get some uh, backfill just to fill around them a little bit. Okay, grow well, my friend. What a fantastic morning in the garden it's been. You guys didn't see this spot, but uh, that's last year's kale that came back that is bolting. I'm just leaving it for the bees. It'll self-seed itself and I'll have kale for the fall. Um, lettuce salad greens are growing in rows right there. Here's where I planted those four tomato plants. I told you I just need to see them grow up. I just need to see them. So there's two here, there's two behind the kale, a marigold in between, and would you believe it? I still have three pepper plants. So we're gonna put pepper plants in there. I purchased some basil um, that I can split out into, it looks like three or four, or two or three plants each. Um, so we're gonna get some peppers planted in there. And um, then lastly, I brought out a bag of Alaska peas and I think I'm going to just plug them all through the straw bell gardens and just see what happens But thanks for coming out in the garden with me um, Here soon. So the last thing left to plant is probably tomorrow um, We are going to be planting our sweet potato slips and the garden will be 100% done um, I definitely want to do um, a separate video on that just because it is my end-to-end -end journey of teaching myself to grow my own sweet potato starts and I want to show people how I'm planting those um, and it, it's just worth its own video so after that is said and done we will be bringing probably the first of June our first full garden tour of the season and we'll just sit back and watch it grow together I'm excited all right but if you're not doing this with your pepper plants, give it a try on just one of them. Um, you know, if you wanna just try it for the first time this year, experiment, and you're just looking for where those little baby leaves are just starting to come off, and then snip right below it, and you're gonna get a nice big bushy plant and uh, have a much larger harvest. So let's, it's actually sprinkling and I don't even care, it feels nice. So humid though we're already like if you didn't know Michigan is very humid not like Louisiana Texas humid but for a northern state very very humid it's 86% humidity today and we're just at the end of May it gets so much worse in the middle of the summer um, but happy gardening where you are and thanks for coming out in the garden with me bye guys mm -hmm.